Amanda, congratulations on getting your belt back. Thank Before you. we get into the actual fight, uh, physically, how are you feeling right now? We saw you come up here with crutches. Uh, yeah, a couple, couple things here, but I don't think it's anything that bad. It just like hurt it pretty bad right now. I didn't even know what it is in my eyes. But physically, like I feel amazing. I could go six rounds tonight, seven. So I'm very happy. Was it the minor injuries? Was that just was it a specific moment, or was it just the whole fight as a whole played a factor in it? Uh, I need. It. I, I have to watch again. But I like, I don't know if I felt a headbutt too or something like that. But I don't. I'm not sure. I have to watch. Well, in terms of the fight, is that how you expected it to play out? The first few rounds, it looks like you were telling her to get back up frequently and you were finding success. I think you dropped her three times in the second round. And then in the later rounds, you were willing to take her down and uh, kind of elbow her and cut her open. Is that how you saw the fight playing out? Yeah, all strategy. Everything tonight was all strategy. And the, the main thing was my softball. Yeah. Who I, know, I know I'm going to catch her with that tonight. I know she know would be able to adjust that. She's not a striker, you know? And... When she started like feel comfortable, was exactly what I want. I wanted she feel comfortable a little bit in the fight to I started taking her down. So, and tonight was all about strategy. When you did and go out there as a southpaw, what did you see in her eyes when you surprised her with that? Confusing. She was so confused. And and I'm not very good yet with my southpaw. Just was like I I I talked to my coach like I'm gonna try to see how I feel. And I tried tonight, and and I feel good. And every time that I was to to my original uh, stand, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the south part. So I was walking, and especially for my takedowns, that I was waiting for her, get like excited to wanna kill me. So like those moments, I have to like uh, expect for her, because I know when she saw a couple times she connected to. And I know she's gonna really like pressure me, and then I know I'm gonna shine in those in those moments with my takedowns. Were you surprised at how tough she was? She took a, a pretty big beating. I know a lot of people thought the fight was close, but Dana was in here, and he said it was absolute domination the whole fight. Yeah, who say that it was close? The commentators were saying it was it was a good, tough, close fight, but Dana thought it was a it was a blowout. <laughs> well, I didn't even know who was commentating that. So. <clears throat> What was the question? Were you surprised at how tough she was? No, I know Julian stuff. Like I know, I know. I was, I was always ready for that. You know, I, I like I, I could finish her, but I, I want to go five rounds with her tonight to prove I was better than her. And how was the fight with your new corner and your new, your new camp for your first time? Amazing, amazing. And finally, is the plan still to go up to 145 next, or would you like to see what happens at 135 to defend the belt again? Uh, let me see. I, I don't even know yet. Let's see what we're we going to do. I have to talk to Dana to see. Hey, Amanda, congrats. Thank you. Um, when Dana was in here, I asked him about, you know, what could possibly be next for you, uh, <laughs> you know, when he doesn't match make on the night of fights. But I suggested a trilogy with Valentina, and he said he liked that idea. So what do you think about running back with her again? Yeah, good. You know, so... She's a champion too. That would be that would be awesome. I don't know if you saw her tweet or not, but she did say that you essentially stole her whole style in the stand-up game tonight. So <laughs> that's funny. She have to she have to put out there something to 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 stand out. Cause right now as a champion, Valentina, she lost her last fight, you know. So I really think if it. If Tyler don't got that those headbutt, that fight could be way different. And one question about the fight tonight with Juliana. You know at the press conference when she said, you know, she was gonna do pretty much everything under the sun, like all these illegal things in the fight. But there were some moments where we saw her grabbing your gloves and um I believe someone even said that they saw her trying to bite her way out of the choke attempt. Did you feel any of that stuff going on? And you know, what did you say anything to her in those moments? No, no, no. I want to watch again to see those moments. So was belt is slippery too, you know. It's like <clears throat> I know she like I, I think the blood as well. I know was be able to get a, like a, a good a good finish. And when I went to 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 the the, the rear naked choke, like she was was slippery too. She was defend as well, of course. But like at that point, I say like you know what? I'm, I'm I just gonna like 
prove it. Like, I'm better than her in every way right now. I'm gonna, like, just yeah, hang out here. Like, she's gonna, she try to finish it, you know? But, like, that's, I couldn't let it all go, you know? Like, it's, it's like, she did everything she could, but, like, I, I'm better than her, you know? I prove it tonight. <coughs> Amanda, I want to thank you for coming back here, you know, after such a war and feeling the way you do. Um, you mentioned uh, there's something going on uh, health-wise that you're not sure about. What What do you mean by that? Uh, or like physically feeling after the fight? or maybe uh, Like a couple things he was doing the fight. So my foot, I have to see what it is. And my my face too, there's recovery, like like. Always it was a war tonight, you know. I expect to like come out with something, <laughs> but like it's gonna be fine. Um, you dominated the fight, all you know, from start to finish. Probably, probably uh, Pena's strongest moment was uh, the arm bar. Did you feel it at all in, in any danger during that time? No, no, I didn't. So I was just like getting my, my read to defend well, and I know she's gonna spend so much uh, energy with that. She put everything in that. <clears throat> I don't know, but like my arm is pretty good with armbar. It's not like uh, she. Just, my arm is. Not, I don't tap it like easy with armbar. I know like I would get out of that. I just like let it, her like spend energy as much as possible to I be able to dominate her. At what point in the fight did you feel like I got this? Was it with the when you knocked her on her butt the first time, or when my takedown was working? And I saw she was like, not have anything to do. She tried everything she has and then nothing worked. And then I, I knew right away I have the fight. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you. Champ, champ, congratulations. You're clearly the greatest female to ever step foot in the octagon. What more do you feel you have left to prove to add to your legacy? You know, I did everything already. Now I have the belt and I, I'm just going to keep it going, you know? So this is... This is what is something. This this is something that I have to do. Just keep going, you know. And I did everything I read. I'm very happy. And yeah. Thank you. Question over here. Uh, looking back at the first fight with Juliana, um, would you consider that more of a fluke? You know, losing that fight because you you had COVID and you had an injury. Would you say? Would you kind of confidently say that was more of a fluke versus this fight and having, you know, a more prepared camp? Yeah, um, tonight I was definitely prepared for that. My last one, I have a hard one. I have COVID and I have to jump in, in camp right away, right after. I still feel very bad. And I recovered from COVID during the camp, you know. Like, I didn't know how I'm going to feel after. Like, I didn't know anything. <clears throat> and, and during the process, I still hurt my knee. And it was just a mess, and always be able to really get ready how I like to, you know. Especially for a girl that's very tough, you know. Juliana is tough. Give a lot of credit for her, you know. And and yeah, tonight it was proving, you know, that was like a lock, a lock, lock day for her, you know. If she needed that, she she if she needed to become a champion like that, she have her time. But now it's over. And then was the game plan for you to do more damage on the feet first before, you know, going for the takedowns later in, in the fight or, you know, welcoming yourself into her guard? What was the game plan? Yeah, everything, everything tonight was a game plan. Even, like, she's going to go crazy. She's going to connect. And she's going to, like, come in with everything. And then this is the time we're going to drop the level and then take her down. I know I'm more strong than her, you know. My wrestling is way better than hers. My jiu-jitsu, my ground game. I just have to be precise in everything, like I was today. So, and I was, I was, literally, my body was like amazing. I could go six, seven round, no problem. Like especially when I started like do some damage in the floor with my elbows. So, I give a lot of credit to her, you know. I don't have any bad blood. Uh, I feel like. It, um, she helped me a lot, you know. She, I, I actually, I like the challenge. I feel like I function with the challenge. If I don't have any challenge to push me, to threat me, you know, Juliana is a very good threat, you know. So I, 
bring the best of me when I feel trapped, you know? It's like, oh shit, she might can do this for me. So, and I shine in those moments. That's why I really like those fighters that bring the best of me in those moments. Talk shit, talk this, say all those things. That's, I love that. And then where, finally for me, where would you rank her jiu-jitsu amongst all opponents that you face? Because the first couple of rounds, you didn't just jump into her guard whenever you knocked her down. You didn't just, you know, pounce on her. You know, like, what's our strategy? You know, I, I don't want to go in there. Why? Why? Why I have to? If he, I might can knock her out if she get up. So I want to really make some damage and let it, she, she stay there, hang out there, and then wait for her to get up. And I just want to, like, be able to, to prove, like, okay, I can knock you out, but, like, I also I can take you down anytime I want. And we can hang out here in the floor. You can try finishing me, but uh, you can. I know how to defend, you know. My jiu-jitsu is better than you. I'm a black belt. So my jiu-jitsu, my, my, my wrestling coach is right there, Patrick. So I have, a, I have a very good wrestling coach. That's a guy that's compete since he young, in college. So I know that it would be... A very good adjustment in my in my camp when uh, I I call him and then he drive it two hours to help me two hours you know and and we make that happen tonight and I always be able to to show take downs and really make him proud too and and also Bobby too that's helped me with my ground game and adjust everything so that's that's Talk to me like, oh, whatever you want, just call me. Like, if you, we want to stay here all night, all day long, train jiu-jitsu, you're going to be here. So he, thank you too. Roger, what am I going to say about Roger? Roger is always there for me in big fights, you know, 200, Ronda Rousey, Valentina, many times. And and he bring him back to my corner was like easy to adjust, you know, was I just make him a call and then like, let me know, girl. I make time. Let's let's do this. And Nina, let's everybody know. Let's help me since day one. So I'm very happy to be able to have a good team. Uh, Amanda over here. Uh, do you feel like the first loss to Pena was like a blessing in disguise because of how much you were able to grow from that loss and to become the best Amanda Nunez that you could be? Definitely. Definitely. That fight helped me a lot. I learned so much about myself in that fight that's like make me very strong after that. The fire, I always tell you guys the whole week, like the fire that's lost the belt, give it to me was like, especially for her, you know? That's why somebody that talks so much and say so, so many things. And, and for me, like just making me powerful. You know, all the words she say about me and everything, yeah, she make me hungry. You know, a lioness. I say in the cage, you know, when the lioness go for the first time to, to get the prayer, then even all the time the lion get it, you know. But I have to set the trap in the second time I will get you. And tonight was the night, you know. When I look at her in, in, in front of me, Say like this is my food. <laughs> I'm a lioness. <laughs> Thank you guys.